Hey guys, in this video I just want to quickly show you how you can go ahead and install this official Android 4.0.1 by Samsung that got leaked. Um, it is basically the firmware being called the i9100XXKP1. Let's see here, was that the full name? Um, yeah, uh, i9100 has obviously the Galaxy S2's model number and then uh, XXKP1. Uh, it, it was a build or you know that they, they build this uh, on December the 7th book and we don't know if they're gonna do more changes to it but probably because this one is alpha as hell it's buggy as hell so um, yeah they're probably gonna do a lot of changes and hopefully we'll get more leaks in the future uh, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we can go ahead and install it on your Samsung Galaxy S2. Now, let me start off with saying that I have no idea about different variants on the Samsung Galaxy S2, if it's gonna work for you, or, you know, things like that, but I suppose it should work for all of the Samsung Galaxy S2s out there that is uh, on the, that is on the model number, or being called i9100, uh, but I have no idea. But this is obviously the European one, so let's go ahead and begin. So, what we first need to do here is download a zip file that I will provide uh, from samfirmware.com. Uh, yeah, and uh, then it's a zip file, it's like 300 megabytes. And then when you go ahead and extract it, I'm using 7-zip here, it's a free tool. Uh, you just open it up uh, in the you know, manager or you just right click and you know, just unpack here. But you know, when you're going to do that, it's going to ask you for a password, you just want to type in samfirmware.com. Uh, they always use that on their files. So go ahead and do that. And as you can see, my computer gets locked now just because of that. So I'm just going to close this process. I have no idea, but sometimes that thing happens. So I see I you just go ahead and right click and, you know, you just type in the password. So one second. Okay, so once you have done that, make sure that you have the USB drivers uh, for your Samsung Galaxy S2. So, you know, you just go ahead and download the, that own program yeah, keys. And you know, you just go ahead and install the USB drives for, because the first time you use your Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, with your you know computer and install keys and everything, you're gonna get these USB 2.0 like drivers that you need. So go ahead and do that. And then you know, when keys is up and ready to go, you just close it again. And then you need to download Odin. And I'm using version 1.85 here, but I suppose you can just go ahead and download Odin uh, version 1.83 as well. Um, Many people use that, but uh, you know, just connect it. Uh, I have it on here running on Android 2.3.4, something like that. Yes, maybe 2.3.5 even. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I'm running on 2.3.5 or 2.3.4, whatever. I restored it to stock Android, and uh, yes, it's 2.3.4. I'm pretty sure about that. But I restored it, uh, and I don't have root, so you don't need like any root, I think, for this. I'm pretty sure that you don't need any root, but uh, it's running here, stock, Android. Um, so, this is obviously an alpha build, as I said in previous videos. So, what you just want to go ahead and do here is, uh, when you have connected it with the USB cable, fire up Odin, you should see that yellow thingy. If you don't see that, then it's something wrong, uh, because that basically means you see the message down here that's added, that it's connected, you know, to recognize your phone. Uh, and then you don't want to check anything else here. Uh, it should already be checked on auto reboot and F reset time. And that's what have been working for me the most of the times so I've been doing this. Uh, you don't want to check repetition, flash lock, phone EFS clear, or phone bootloader update or whatever. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is uh, you know as you know we did extract. Wait a second. 